Welcome back to our introductory video on options play. Today we're going to focus on how to utilize options play to trade more advanced and custom option strategies for those of you that have a bit more experience trading. To launch options play, click on the options button within your trading tab and you'll see a button here on the right hand side that's called options wizard. When you click on that, that will launch the options play tool. This is designed to help make your options trading exploration, analytics, and trading of options as easy as possible. The platform itself is divided into three sections. We have trade ideas and watch list here on the left hand side. The middle is our security analysis panel, and on the right hand side is trading and income. We want to show you how you can customize the default strategies on the right hand side to change the different expirations, strike prices, as well as look at more advanced trading strategies. To start off with, if you want to change the expiration date or strike price, you can simply click on modify button for any of these strategies. That will allow you to select the expiration date and the strike price just by the click of a mouse, or you can use our right or left arrows to simply move the expirations out one, or the left arrows to move the strikes down one, all with the click of a mouse without having to necessarily use the drop down menu. Our drop down menu does include strike prices and the price and the premium for each one of these strikes, as well as marks off the one standard deviation move for each one of these expirations, so you have a feel for where the normal range of the options expiration. You can even price the calls and puts based on either the bid ask price or the cons or what we call the natural price, or you can click on the mid price to look at the midpoint. For those of you that are looking for more advanced strategies, you can use our strategy constructor. It's devised by Outlook, so you can select bullish, bearish, neutral, or sharp move, and be able to click on any single one of these strategies and instantly be able to create some of the more advanced strategies like calendars and diagonals, and for those of you that like to trade credit spreads, you can use this to simply create a credit spread and compare them with the debit spread or shorting the stock or any of these strategies. And you can simply modify these by clicking on the expiration date to change different expiration dates, move the strikes down one, up one, and even increase or decrease the width of these verticals so that you can really play around with the different options and strike prices and, ex and expirations simply by the click of a mouse. Once you've created the custom strategy, I recommend that you use the PL simulator to see how each one of these strategies will perform with different outlooks of the underlying stock. So if Goldman Sachs is at 1226 right now and you feel that the stock might go down to 220, typing in those target prices will allow you to see how each one of these strategies perform. And once you've selected the strategy that you want to trade, click on the trade button and that will bring up a trade ticket that has a strategy checklist that you should review before you place a trade. And once you're ready to send that off for execution, hit the preview order button. And the best part of the integration that we've done with the first trade platform is that it pre-fills your ticket for you so that you don't have to enter anything manually. You can simply select a price and send this off for execution. Thank you for taking the time out to view this video. I hope you find this useful in being able to help you find and create and craft different option strategies, especially for those of you that are looking for more custom and advanced strategies.